What's up guys, welcome to mobiletechvideos.com where I'm in a flash review for Samsung Vibrant. This is my first Vibrant video and I'm excited to, uh, to unveil it and I'm going to start things off with a ramen review uh, episode. So my name is Josh, I'm also known as Connection2005 on the forums to any of the Vibrant uh, viewers that are watching this and um, basically what I do is provide uh, video documentaries of uh, reviews for ROMs, applications, I do uh, extensive how-to videos to really try to give back to the com community that's given so much to me. So uh, this is uh, this will be my first video for Vibrant. So Captivate guys, don't worry. I'm not revoking support. I'm merely extending support to the Vibrant community now that I've got my Vibrant in from the mill. So today we'll be reviewing the uh, Bionix V for the Samsung Vibrant by Team Whiskey. So let's go ahead and get the phone booted up. Right out of the box, we've got the uh, stock Vibrant screen, and uh, basically a little info on this ROM. It's the complete KA7 build, which is uh, the official over-the-air 2.2 that was leaked, uh, as most of you guys know. So it's going to run the stock kernel, modem, system files, apps, all that good stuff, and uh, it's going to give you about the closest stability and speed of a uh, stock ROM. Actually, speed will be enhanced, but uh, stability is going to be about as good as you can get right now for uh, stock 2.2. So we go into the Team Whiskey boot animation. Uh, pretty cool stuff there. Obviously, uh, bootanimation.zip is supported for this ROM, so you can uh, flash whatever you would like to that. Um, out of the box, you've got the puzzle unlock. Um, one thing to mention is there's two versions of this floating around. Uh, we have flashed the TouchWiz version, and um, I've always been a fan of TouchWiz, so I wanted to review that version. Um, basically, here's what we have on the, the home screen. We've got some icons that we're familiar with. We see a lot of gingerbread-style icons, uh, some things that make it look pretty cool. So uh, I want to go ahead and mention that this uh, phone is sporting the uh, accurate battery mod. Um, so that's going to give us much more accurate statistics. Um, a lot of you guys are familiar with that mod. You can check that out over in the forums. Um, in addition to this, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our uh, settings options. In sound, we'll notice that we cannot tie uh, incoming call volume to notification volume. Not a big deal. We've been seeing that in a couple of the builds lately. Uh, not a big deal at all. Full haptic feedback at the bottom. Capacitive lighting is working correctly as it should. Um, as far as display goes, we're going to have the awesome 4 unlock screen available there. So switching to, say, Epic Unlock is simply a uh, click away. And then, bam, we've got Epic Unlock now instead, and so on and so forth, such as glass. And if you wanted to have the stock one, we could have glass there. And uh, so that's going to be something cool that we're going to start seeing in a lot of these builds. Um, Another thing to mention is obviously we've got our extended uh, power options that a lot of the ROMs have here. So we're going to be able to do things like reboot into recovery and download mode with ease. Um, in addition to all this, we've obviously got a lot of gingerbread theming going on. There's the top icons up top for the notifications. And uh, we're going to see things such as the camera, the web, the phone, and the messaging. All that's going to have a gingerbread look and feel. Um, we've got a themed dialer. Uh, it's kind of been degridded with the black icons and obviously the green accents there um, and the, uh, the three dock uh, three icon dock at the bottom for the dialer so something cool to see there um, in addition to all this some little things have been done by team whiskey uh, for additional speed stability battery life etc and uh, some of those are the custom in its grips that have been uh, changed to really make the phone zippier and faster um, the framework's been polished for an overall better look so you'll see things like uh, the icon to the top and the, uh, the black theme for the notification bar. Little stuff like that's going to really make this phone look a lot better. This ROM, I should say. And um, obviously, uh, all the user apps have been updated. And uh, GPS locks perfectly. Wi-Fi locks perfectly. Um, obviously, we've had no problems with that. I've been really impressed with the speed. So if we were to... Uh, I think it was trying to lock uh, connection there. So if we were to go to, say, my website, mobiletechvideos.com, we would um, you know get a nice uh, speed from our Wi-Fi. So you should check that out, by the way, if you've never heard of me or what I do. A lot of useful information over there. And I'm going to be working on porting a lot of those videos over to the Vibrant. So anyways, that's a, that's a heads up look. Obviously, Voodoo is enabled by default. Um, if you're already f uh, running Voodoo on a previous ROM, you can actually flash without having to disable it. So you won't have to make uh, the uh, you won't have to make the disable change in the file names. So, anyways, I'm gonna let you guys take a breather, and I'm gonna get caught up and get ready for some scores. Okay, we are back, and we're ready to do some scores. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. We have Limpack, Ninamark, and Neocore loaded up on the phone. So we'll go ahead and do a full task kill here. 
with a level 2 memory clear and go ahead and launch uh, Linpack for the phone. Now the first time it pops up I'm sure we're going to see an advertisement or something here so as we did right there so let's uh, probably omit the first test 13.4 I'm pretty sure it can do better than that um, so we should see probably about a 14 flat um, you know 14 flat there and uh, probably a 14.1 here but uh, that's about right on par for all the Galaxy S based kernels uh, for 2.2 leaks that we've been seeing so very uh, very on par there nothing to worry about um, I've seen the exact same results on the Captivate that had a 2.2 leak a while back uh, go ahead and step into a Ninomark Okay, our first, or our only run, 50.6, so that's definitely on the spot there with Nenomark. And we'll do a level 2 here, set up for our Neocore. Run, and we'll swing high for the benchmark. Okay, 55.6 for our NeoCore, so pretty good results there as well. Um, one thing uh, I wanted to point out is that there's a lot of optional i9000 based kernels available for this. Um, there is no 2.2 kernel available yet because the source hasn't been linked yet, but uh, there's also a lot of add-ons with APK files and a lot of that other stuff as well, so we should definitely go over and check that out. Um, let me show you the uh, shutdown animation real quick. Awesome. Bionix shutting down system offline. So really cool stuff from Team Whiskey on the uh, Bionix V ROM. So uh, be sure to donate to the developer. They spend a lot of time making these ROMs. I as well appreciate donations if you'd like to donate to my cause. Um, I'm looking forward to serving the Vibrant community as well as the other communities that I've been supporting now for uh, about two months. Um, we're averaging about over 200,000 views a month. So check us out. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy this uh, as I'll be getting a lot more Vibrant videos posted up very soon now that I have a Vibrant. So um, that's uh, ROMs in a Flash review for Bionics V for Samsung Vibrant from Team Whiskey. This is Josh, and uh, check out mobiletechvideos.com for the latest news and info. And uh, thanks for stopping by. And if you're ready to flash, good luck.